Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Lagrange Point, and here we are in the Resistance base. Now, I did uh, a bit of grinding again with these new characters, and my old ones obviously, and uh, I did buy some new things. Um, I filled up their armor, and I got them uh, 4,000 battery packs for everyone, so we should be okay in that department. About it. Um, I didn't uh, buy. I, th I think I bought a better weapon for um, Astro, but he was kind of hard to equip since uh, he was uh, kind of low level and weapons go off of your uh, strengths and weaknesses, so he's still using an oxide gun. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually explore the entire uh, base here, because we kind of did a rough shot walk through um, last episode, but didn't really get to finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the entire thing here. Ward's president, Tanya, was abducted. The outbreak occurred not long after. Board of Five consisted of ISIS leaders. President Tanya, Chairman, Toj, Orgy, Ledesma, and Weber. Yeah, a few of these people we've talked to already, but might as well just give it a once-over. Yeah, so obviously Stolt was kind of the bad guy. Something tells me we're going to find out he's the Bio-Kaiser. Uh, don't hold me on that, but that's my assumption. I left behind a Morita capsule when I flood here. I'm such an idiot. Imbecile. Alright, don't tell me where you're from or anything. area camp. Something tells me these three camps are going to be important soon. Batavia Town. I left a Matsushita capsule behind. Rajubi Pond. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Best of two. Alright. I think I want to get that. I do love these hallways. I know I said that before. But... Alright, here is the lounge. Um. Excuse me. Don't ever do that again. Yeah, they're pretty much spelling out the fact that, uh... There's the... They're, they're pretty much stating the fact that probably uh, Professor Stolt is the villain here. Alright, so... That takes care of this floor. Let's go back and go upstairs. So this is a pretty roundabout area. people are in that lounge. Oh wait, that's the lounge. Downstairs was the item shop. Sorry about that. Apparently I was asleep. Friendly mutants who escaped the Biocore are living in Orangeria camp. <laughs> Text is all freaking out. I've only fled nine times out of ten. Apparently that makes you brave. And so here is where we need to go. I'm Pamela, a cyborg. What do you plan to do now? Sure. If you need me for anything, just ask. Remember, we're all counting on you. Alright, so I got him on my team now, too. I might use him later. He kind of looks like, uh, like Tron. I'm the leader of Toja's resistance. Let me give you a license card, that way you'll be able to use the factories. I 
want intel in the biocore. Collect the three discs. Use this map. Head to Potatia first. Or should I pronounce it Pota Potatia? Pretty sure it's supposed to be like potato orange and I forgot what the saga word was, corn. Alright, so here we are back here, downstairs. So I need to find that elevator again. And we can head down into the depths of the uh, resistance base. This is actually where you can do weapon crafting. I know I've said it before, but yes, there's, there's weapon crafting in a Nintendo game. So this is the elevator. This is where I started, so it kind of wraps around. So every time you go down, there's a new room you can explore. Here's a weapon shop. Now I kind of want to try out that new, uh, that new thing, so... So, where should we... we should buy... I actually know one recipe that's actually pretty decent, so... I think I already have an oxide gun, so I'm gonna buy two more. And I need three solution guns or solvent guns. Alright. Because if we smashed those two together, we get a pretty good weapon for this part, so. Nothing there. Yeah, so there's only one thing you can get off at. How about here? Here's the factory. So if I take a solvent gun and an oxide gun, it'll make a metal disc, which is a rank 2 weapon uh, that's considered special. I can make... I need three of them, so... Cost 1600 each. I get to make that little animation. So if I make one more. I'll just skip the animation that time. <laughs> crap weapons mean crap fights. Alright, so I can't use my inventory while I'm here, so... Let me jump back down here, to the bottom. And head in here. So I'll talk to these two in a second. Let me just equip. Take his oxide gun. Alright, so he has insufficient power. Oh crap. But he can take one. That increased his attack to 116 from 104. And Chris can use one. So I'll take her electric stick. And I'll give Astro a better weapon, the electric stick. I think that was better, right? Yes, very much so. Can he use the uh, petrify gun? No. So let's go back up and use that uh, oxide gun to make another metal blade for Gene. What does a petrify gun make? A fire gun. Rank 2, attacks all. Even Astro can use it. But I'll pass. How about the solvent in the petrify gun? Atomic knife, rank 2. I'm already gonna have one, so. Oxide and solvent. There goes all my money. So, uh, further on, I'm going to be doing that off screen. So that. I just wanted to show you the first time, so that, uh, you know what I'm doing. Where I'm getting all these weapons from. 
I'll probably dink around with it like I do, uh, like I did back in Persona 3, kind of doing it on my own, playing with things and re reloading saves and stuff. Save you the time. Might as well equip that, it's better. <laughs> if you find a Marita capsule, bring it here. Alright, so if I find a Marita capsule, I have to bring it to Marita. And if I find a Matsushita capsule, I'm sure I bring it to him. Alright, so that concludes our tour of the satellite base. Kinda cool. I do like this little elevator thing. I'm not used to that in video games for Nintendo. do is get the crap out of here. Let's save real quick. Now that I made new weapons. Alright, this time I'm gonna head to Vesta. I can go to Vesta 1 or Vesta 2. I'm gonna try 1. I don't know if there's anything there. I just kind of want to try it out because we've it's been a while since we've been there, and who knows what we'll find. Okay. No, oh, I'll talk to everybody again. Be careful, you'll need a mutant translator if you're planning to go to Orange Area Camp. I'm Kenji. Okay, Kenji. Freeze gun and his sonic gun makes a solar gun. In case you, you should forget. this, you'll be able to use save terminals across ISIS. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Alright. Everybody has a name here for some reason. outside. Yeah, pretty sure it's the left. Leads outside. No, I can't get out. Door's locked. Wasn't General Dan here, or did he go to Vesta 2? Guess I'll have to figure that out on my own. Whatever, buddy. Alright. Guess we're heading to land two. Let me hope if I go the right way, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna try best of two yet. I'm gonna head land two. Alright, so I can go to Corneria. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Uh, Orange Area or Potato. They told me to go to Potato first, so let's do that. Oh, she was right out there. I don't know why, but every time I see this animation, I always think the ship is just gonna, it's gonna get to the end, just fall over, just 
crash. Alright, so here we are in land two. The potato district, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So, on the next episode, we will begin our explorations here. And see where this leads us. Because, who knows? You might, if you played before, but I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going next, so... We'll figure it out. Hope you join me for that. Uh, my name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, have a good one.